Here, uh, you finished the season so strong. Uh, you know, top tens at uh, I believe Power Shares and uh, and the Dominion Charity. Did did something click in your game, or was this just a gradual process where you tried to build toward qualifying school? Well, I, I think it was a couple of things. I, I think I did get as the year went on out there. You know, I did get more comfortable. I got um, had a little more confidence in my ability to compete. You know the guys that were out there and then and then the second thing that, that happened was i you know i did start putting much better i i, I purchased a, a new tool the perfect putter uh some friends of mine around here had you know were using one and i i uh, got one of those and really worked on my putting uh you know probably a little harder than i had and my putting most likely you know if you look at my stats i think putting in the last two months of the season were was much better so you know everybody who plays golf knows that you know your best scores are going to be shot when you putt well it's tough to have any success on that tour hey, hey scott you know, just a second let, let, let me let me stop you there because i think i i misunderstood because i thought i heard you say you purchased the perfect putter because pga tour players don't per no 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 yeah. pga tour players don't purchase anything lou holtz never purchases any golf equipment <laughs> what are you doing purchasing something <laughs> well you know i know the fellow ramon who who's actually the one who's patented this and, and came up with it and he's uh he was once in my in my shoes i played with him in mini tours and, and stuff like that and uh you know what he's come up with i think is pretty pretty cool concept so yes i did actually purchase purchase it from ramon um and i think he makes honestly i think he makes mostly guys um or doesn't make them but i think they kind of you know feel feel like maybe they should help them help them out so it, it, scott i don't mean to interrupt you but i i'm interested in it tell me what the perfect putter is and how i purchase it <laughs> Well, I'm sure you can go online. Um, I actually purchased it straight from Ramon because he was in Augusta doing a, he's also a teacher, a, a short game putting instructor. And he was in, in, in Augusta uh, doing a, a deal for Augusta University. So I knew he was coming and I, I went out there and saw him and purchased it. But basically what it is, is a, I would call it, it's like a ramp, um, similar to maybe like a, a stamp meter type deal where you it's a, it's a I would say it almost looks like a bridge that's wide enough for you to roll a ball down and it actually rolls the ball exactly the same every single time and you and you place it on the green and you roll the ball and it shows you what the line would be if you were to stroke that putt perfectly this is the line you would have to hit it on so that the ball would go into the center of the hole <laughs> and so you use that and work your way around the, the practice screen. And, and what, what I like to do is uh, usually pick three putts, a straight putt, a left to right putt, and a right to left putt, and usually somewhere in the 10 to 12 foot range. And roll the ball, find the perfect line, draw a couple of you know markers or with chalk line you know along that line, and then just you know, practice, do drills on all three of those. And it's amazing how much you know better it is when you eliminate the fact when you're putting the line you know that where you are lined up is the exact perfect line so now all you have to do is concentrate on making a good stroke and so to me if you for me doing it I, I had so much success with it that you would sit there and make you know literally 20 30 putts potentially in a row and if that doesn't help your confidence you know from a 10 or 12 <laughs> foot standpoint um i don't know what will you know Seeing the ball go in the hole when you practice, to me, putting is, is the most important thing. It doesn't do you any good to be on the putting green for two hours and you've made 20% of the putts that you've hit. To me, you're almost instilling in your mind that you don't make too many putts, you know? Mm -hmm. And I just don't know how that does you any good. Hey, Scott, I'm going to work out a deal here. I'm going to broker something right now. You hook Coach up with the perfect putter. You know, he's a, a member at Augusta National. You two hook up. Uh, you get him a perfect putter, and you two can, can play around together at the National. Well, I'd be more than happy to do that. <laughs> <laughs> that that sounds like a fair deal to me, Scott. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. Hey, Scott, so nice of you to join us. Congratulations. Uh, before uh, I let you go, uh, just tell me, 
what it was like playing those last few holes when, when you knew that you were going to be a totally exempt member of the Champions Tour. It is such a close shop. Just five cards available. Uh, you're competing against PGA Tour winners who are struggling to get out there uh, on the Champions Tour. You beat all those guys. Uh, just take us through that that last moment when you finally realized no more Monday qualifying what you had accomplished. Yeah, it, it was it was very, very comforting. It was uh, quite exciting, but at the same time, it put me at such ease um, to know that I could actually set my schedule next year and not have to worry about Monday qualifying. Um, you know, it's just an honor to get a chance to play with the guys that are on that tour. You know, I thoroughly enjoyed myself this year meeting those those guys and how they treated me was, was very nice. And uh, yeah, during those last few holes, I was just trying to keep it together and, and hope that, you know, I didn't do anything silly so that I, I would lose the opportunity to, to get to play out there again. It, it was awesome. Well, congratulations. It's going to be a Merry Christmas in, in your household. Uh, I can't imagine uh, how much excitement. I hope you uh, enjoy this moment, enjoy your family over the holidays. Then you got most of January to, to prepare for your first Champions event. So nice of you to join us. We're so proud of you and uh, wish you nothing but the best coming up on the Champions Tour in 2017, Scott. Thank you very much. That's Scott Perel, who tied for first place at the Champions Qualifier. Uh, last week at the Disney Magnolia Golf Course. You're listening to Holtz and One. It's PGA Tour Radio on Sirius 208 XM92. Once again, at the bottom of the hour, we will be joined by the 44th Vice President of the United States. Dan Quayle will join us on Holtz and One. When we return, though, Coach and I will uh, put on our thinking caps and tell you what the future holds for some players on the PGA Tour.